Alan Flusser is known for his know-how when it comes to men's clothes. In fact, he wrote the book on it. And joining me now is Alan Flusser. He's the author of Dressing the Man. Joining us to show us how the right shirt can make the man is Alan Flusser. He's author of the new book, Dressing the Man. The author and designer, Alan Flusser. Thank you for coming by. Alan Flusser is here. He is the president of Alan Flusser Designs, which he founded in 1979. We should say you are the one who dressed Michael Douglas in Wall Street. Re, for lack of a better word, is good. Well, this is the designer who dressed him. That's true. I, I plead guilty. Though Flusser caters to high-end clients who care about their clothes and don't look at the price tags, he insists it needn't take dump trucks of dough to dress for success. One of the great things about my Steinmark business is it lets me demonstrate my theory that you don't have to be wealthy in order to dress well. All of the things that make this jacket a classic jacket uh, for someone who fits this size, they'll be able to wear it style-wise for as long as they choose. This jacket uh, retails for $99. My mission is, you know, demythologizing the notion of fashion or dressing well. It's not complicated. It's very easy to do. You just need the right information. There are two linchpins to dressing well. One is proportion and one is color. It's proportion that dictates the longevity of a particular garment. The shoulder is too large on a jacket, it can make your head look too small. Or conversely, if it's too narrow, the shoulder width, it can make your head look too large. Cary Grant had a, a wide head. You'll always see him in, with jacket shoulders that are a little wider. Let's say you can afford the most expensive navy uh, cashmere blazer and uh, made by hand, uh, costs $3,000 or something of that sort, and uh, that year, the fashion gods decreed that uh, broader shoulders and longer lengths uh, were, uh, were, were what you should be wearing. And then about a year later, you look at it and uh, the longer jacket length makes your legs look shorter. And what can you do? Either retire it to the back of your closet or literally give it away. Let's just talk about color for a moment. You should look at your face like a picture and what you surround it uh, uh, with like a frame. So you want to make sure that the frame and the picture look good together. If you look at the amount of contrast between your hair and skin and you wear the same amount of contrast under your chin as is above your chin, it will draw the eye of the viewer towards your face. Uh, conversely, a person who has light uh, skin and light hair, if they put something dark underneath their face, it's going to distract. You see the shirt, you don't see his face. Um, therefore, if he were to wear something like this that is, has less contrast to his skin and hair, all of a sudden you'll be able to see his face more. And once you begin to relate all of these questions back to yourself, you can begin to you know, build uh, a long-term dressing style. What we're talking about here is not uh, something that has to do with the amount of money that goes into a garment. We're talking about design. And design, it costs no more to design a garment correctly than incorrectly. I'm going to show you two different shirts, one a custom-made shirt and one a, a, a ready-made Steinmart shirt, and I want to show you the relative value between the two of them. So this is a custom-made shirt. The sh shirt fabric is made of very high-quality, high-count cotton, Italian cotton. The buttons are uh, pearl. Uh, you, you might be able to see the design of the pocket. It has a kind of V yoke here with a, a, a gusset. Uh, if you just turn around, you can see it. that V yoke with the gusset is, is uh, repeated in the back and all of the stripes are lined up. The cuff of the sleeve has a, a V and then a gusset. So it's a very fine quality shirt that we make by request and it retails for about $350. The next shirt is a shirt from my Steinmart collection and this shirt is a button down. Uh, it's made of 100% cotton. Uh, the fabric is made of a jacquard, which is a little bit more expensive, and a satin stripe. See the position of the pocket, just the right place. Even the sleeve placket has a button, which is a, usually an indication of a better made shirt. And this shirt retails for $34.95. The custom shop came into national presence when uh, you know, in its second year uh, in business in 1986, I was asked to do the clothes for Michael Douglas's uh, film Wall Street, and the character of Gordon Gecko became well known, and the, 
everybody wanted to come from around the country to look like Michael Douglas. And uh, after that, uh, did the clothes for Scent of a Woman, for Al Pacino, and also Barbarians at the Gate. A lot of the customers from the custom shop are from Wall Street, Bill Blass, I used to make all his clothes. Bob Costas, the newscaster. And Kyle Petty, we make his clothes. They're from the famous racing NASCAR family. Uh, Dominic Dunn. Anyway, it's a wide <laughs> variety of uh, entrepreneurs and celebrities and interesting people. And uh, it's where, it's, it's kind of my laboratory in terms of learning about clothes and learning about what men want on an individual level. The great thing about my uh, background is that I've been able uh, to uh, take my knowledge of what constitutes classic design and apply it to my Steinmark business. We're going to take a moment to show you some different garments, some from my custom business and others from my Steinmark business, and compare the two. So this is one of our custom-made jackets. It's made of pretty expensive Italian uh, fabric. Uh, you can't see, but all of the stitches here are done by hand. All of the patterns match up perfectly. Uh, when we make buttonholes, they'll all be by hand, and the buttonholes that actually function this is uh, something that we sell for approximately $2,500. What's exciting for me is that uh, people don't have to spend a small fortune on clothing to dress well. Uh, I can incorporate the same taste level and the same design integrity into my Steinmark merchandise. This is uh, one of my uh, jackets in my spring Steinmark collection made of, uh, from Italian wool. The coat is made offshore. All of the proportions of the jacket are in harmony. The width of the lapels in relationship to the width of the shoulder, the height of the notch here, where it buttons on a natural waist, the position of the pockets. They'll be able to wear it style-wise for as long as they choose. This jacket uh, retails for $99. People want to know what is the, you know, the fashionable or the necktie width that I should be wearing this season. But that's actually the wrong mindset. There's a relationship between the width of the tie and the width of the lapel. So if a man is broad, so let's say he's a 46 jacket, obviously he has wider shoulders and the lapels are going to be wider and therefore he needs a little wider tie. Conversely, if a man is a size 38 and has narrower shoulders with narrower lapels, therefore the tie has to be a little bit narrower. If you wear clothes that are in, in correct proportion for your physique, and colors that are appropriate for your complexion. Whether or not they happen to be in fashion that day or not, uh, the person wearing them will always look stylish and always look in fashion.